Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your monthly reading for June of 2021. Yeah, thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for you. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We could be talking to a cross watcher here. So keep that in mind. If the way that I'm narrating this, it resonates for you, but the roles should be reversed, then do that. Okay, just try not to place anything in your life that doesn't naturally fit. Yes. Uh, I am available for private readings. If you would like to get one with me, just go ahead and follow the information in the description box below. Also, if you would like extra content from me, including extra daily content uh, surrounding astrology, and also uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. if you would just like to support the channel on a monthly basis, go ahead and check me out over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. Lots of great stuff over there already. There's a whole like year plus worth of content that you'll have access to once you sign up. And then you also get access to any future content depending on the tier that you sign up for. Yeah? All right, Capricorn, let's get into this here. Now, funny thing happened. Um, I just did the Aquarius reading right before yours. And as I was transitioning from Aquarius in energy into your energy, Capricorn, uh, the sun came out for you. And it came out just as I started to channel and be like, okay, Capricorn, June 2021. But because it came out so quickly and I hadn't gone through my process of really feeling like I had sufficiently like shuffled and cleansed the deck and moved into the next energy, I didn't necessarily take it. But then I got into, I got official and I was ready and I was getting, it was, I was officially pulling your pre-shuffle and the first card out was the sun. You have a victory coming through for you here. And I want to say change, I just heard change is imminent for you. However, uh, however, I don't feel like you, you see that. I feel like you're feeling out of the abundance out of the abundant flow, okay? Because you also have with that the empress that has that is in reverse. Now, also, what this could mean for you is that um, at because at the bottom of the deck in the begin the first time I did the pre shuffle for you, you had the ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Then there's the sun and the two of pentacles. And with the empress in reverse, this could mean that a gestational period is over or that you've given birth to something and now it's just about finding balance with it in your life. You actually may have given birth to a child recently and if that's so, congratulations. Um, and so right now what's necessary or what's needed is for you to just find a balance with that in your life. It, it seems that in some way your life has changed. And now, and, and you're at the very beginning of that change in your life. So you're trying to find a new sense of balance there, which is beautiful. Okay. But then for some of you, the Empress in reverse felt like you were out of the abundant flow. And I didn't quite understand why that was. So I pulled again, just to clarify the Empress in reverse for some of you. And now, interestingly enough, we're at the three of pentacles, which Ultimately, in clarifying the Empress in reverse here, the Three of Pentacles represents a, a sense of uh, self-mastery and on working on yourself. However, it has not escaped me that the One, the Two, and the Three, the Ace, the Two, and the Three of Pentacles has all shown up in your pre-shuffle here. Okay? So this, to me, is delineating a step-by-step -step process. You got to take it one step at a time. But also, what's clarifying the Empress in reverse, why you feel out of sorts with maybe unconditional love or just the abundance of the universe is because there's something about yourself, the hermit, that you haven't quite solidified just yet within yourself. Four of wands in reverse. Okay. Ah, I just heard it. This is the reason why you're feeling out of sorts within the universe, or with the universe, or actually, yeah, okay, within the universe, okay? There is some sort of clarity or truth or honesty about yourself, some wisdom that you have got to come through, you have got to accept in order to really feel connected to source's abundance. I, and I, I, want you to, I want you to listen to that very closely in order for you to feel connected to the source of abundance. That doesn't mean that in this state or in this position, you're not 
that does you're not connected and that never does that ever mean that you are never not connected to it the only thing that severs our connection between us and the abundance of the universe are our own selves our own disbelief about ourselves our own thoughts about ourselves but even still you're never completely disconnected okay so in order for you to get to this place here empress uh, upright there is some still some self mastery work that you're going to need to do to get solid on the truth some sort of truth or inner wisdom or inner light that's coming through for you here yeah yeah because underneath the deck okay you have the three of pentacles here underneath that is the five of wands that makes a lot of sense self-conflict inner conflict but then underneath that is the ace of swords to the eight of cups there's truth there's clarity, there's honesty that you have got to come to. Aqu uh, not Aquarius, excuse me. Capricorn, there is something internally that you are at odds with. And I feel like, no, let me say that differently. There is some sort of belief that you're holding within that is keeping you at odds with yourself. And you're not going to be able to, to move forward until you get clear on what that is. Ace of Swords and walk away from it all together. Honestly, Capricorn, uh, take some time to really identify this for yourself because it's not about identifying it so that you can dissect it and figure out what it is and this, that, and the third and all that, that all that happy bullshit. No, 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 no. Get clear on what it is for yourself, Capricorn, so you can just cut it the fuck out right then and there. Don't even rehash it. Don't try to, don't look, nope, 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 nope. Get clear on what it is and just walk right away from it. Eight of Cups. That is when your victory is going to come through because that is when the transformation is going to happen. Okay? All right, Capricorn. Excellent. Let's get into the rest of this here. I am going to give this five shuffles for you for all my Capricorns here, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of June 2021. Let's get it, Capricorn. One. Two, three, four, and five. Cut the deck. Boop. All righty. Overall energy for you, Capricorn. Ooh, okay. The King of Wands. Not bad. I'm not mad at it. What I'm hearing is, Capricorn, you need to accept more of this energy into your life. Self-awareness. A strong sense of belief in self. A strong sense of direction what it is you want to achieve, where it is you want to go, and not being afraid to do it. Underneath the King of Wands, interestingly enough, is the Seven of Cups. Okay, good. Underneath the Seven of Cups is the Four of Swords. And then finally, underneath the Four of Swords, you have the Ten of Pentacles, also with the Hanged Man, and there's the Sun again. You all right in there, Orion? My cat. One of my cats. Okay, um... So, self-confidence is key here, Capricorn, all right? You're moving into another phase, another cycle, a new you is trying to emerge, is what I just heard. And there are some things that you've got to get clear on. Seven of Cups, there's confusion here. And I feel like this is these, this Seven of Cups for you, Capricorn, are, just, are things from the past that are trying to, to integrate themselves with the future, but they're not compatible with the future sense of self that you are moving into right now. So what's really important for you in this moment or in these overall energies for this message, whether this is, this is for this month or later on down the road if you're finding this after the fact, what's really important for you in this moment is to sit down and get very clear on what it is that you want. Also, for, in terms for some of you, I'm hearing get very clear on who it is you were in the past and who it is you're involving into in the in, moving forward because you do have a completion staring you right in the face, okay? Uh, this is actually very similar to the Aquarius energy. So you may be an Aquarius Capricorn Cusper or you may be 
uh, an Aquarius in the mainstream system, but a Capricorn in the sidereal system. I study sidereal astrology, but like whatever, use whatever you. If, if the if if the reading resonates for you, then fucking take it. Okay, I don't give a shit. But anyway, uh, Capricorn, you have a completion at hand. Um, and, and what it is you're needing to do is sit down and get clear on the past circumstances that need to be cleared out of your life. Again, who you were in the past and get very clear on who it is you're looking to be in the future or even who it is you know yourself to be now in opposition to who you were in the past. Okay, get very clear on that because that is what's going to help you complete that cycle close it out and move forward. All right, you have the Ten of Pentacles and the Hanged Man and the Sun. Okay. Ten of Pentacles is the completion. Hanged Man is the change in perspective that you come, you've come to. The sun is the victory and illumination that you will be moving forward with. Yes? All right. Sorry. Wow. Okay. I'm being instructed to keep going further at the bottom of the deck. Ten of Pentacles. The Hanged Man. The sun. Yes? Now, you also have strength with the wheel of fortune and the nine of cups okay have the strength to keep your your vibration in relation to the wheel of fortune as clear and as vibrant and as high vibrational as possible because that's going to lead you to greater satisfaction moving forward yeah you might want to watch the aquarius reading because these energies feel very similar already okay excellent let's get into the first half of your reading here uh, Capricorn. First set of surrounding energies. You've got the Queen of Wands here. Beautiful. You've got the King and the Queen of Wands showing up in your reading right now, Capricorn. And what this is saying to me here is you really got to work on that alignment. Okay? Uh, especially also in terms of getting in uh, a clear understanding of who it is you were versus who it is you're moving forward into becoming. Okay, that's uh, getting clear on that, clearing up all that confusion, all those discrepancies is going to help you feel out your alignment, is going to help you get into a stage where you are feeling good about what it is you want to do and you know you're in alignment with what it is that's right for you because it feels good. Okay, but what's keeping you from feeling that right now, Capricorn, is the confusion between the past you and the new you. Okay. Queen of Wands is coupled with, mm, there you go, the Eight of Swords. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. What is standing in your way is a sense of mental confinement. And again, this is a, this is an unclear delineation between who you once were and who you, it is you're striving to be or who it is you are becoming. Okay. Your second set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn, in the first half of your reading. You have the Two of Pentacles again. It's all about balance. And you know, what's coming through from this Two of Pentacles right now is also um, the aspect of opposition between planets in astrology. When, when two planets are opposing each other, they're about 180 degrees, 80 degrees away from each other, right? And an opposition in astrology is... Technically, it's a neutral aspect, but it tends to fall in the realm of being a little challenging. The thing about an opposition is that when you have two energies, you have these two energies that are direct, like about 180 degrees from each other. So they're on opposite. They're directly opposite of each other in the chart. Right. And in this in this opposition, you're able to see the reality of this one thing and the reality of this one thing very clearly individually okay you can see them they're very this one's very clear and this one's very clear and that helps you kind of compare and contrast them and then the challenge between the two is to bring them together right that's kind of what i'm seeing here with this two of pentacles i feel like if you take the time capricorn you can sit down and see very clearly distinctly clearly who it is you were in the past and who it is you're trying to become or who it is you want to become or what direction you're moving in now. And that's going to help you. Mm, that's going to help you 
complete the cycle, Ten of Pentacles, complete the lesson by, by not, not necessarily by fusing them together, but understanding the differences between the two of them. And then that'll get, and then, okay, so now you are kind of fusing them together because then that'll give you an opportunity to understand what it is you need to do, how it is you need to act, what it is you need to cut out in order for you to move forward with this new sense of self, okay? I really hope that made sense. Two of Pentacles is coupled with, uh, uh, sorry, hold on a second, okay. The devil. All right, now, first and foremost, Capricorn, this does represent your energy. Okay. And no, honey, I'm not calling you the devil. Okay, fine. But in this situation, Capricorn, the devil is representing what chains and binds you from the past. And the beauty of the devil is that you have, look, 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 honey, look, look, these two motherfuckers ain't even chained. Like, they don't even have that ankle chain actually wrapped around their freaking anklet, ankle, right? And yet they stand there betwixt and bewildered by the devil. When they could literally turn around and walk away and be like, yeah, I'm done with this. Okay? So, your sense of, if you are feeling like you are bound and chained to something in any way, that is an illusion of the past. You absolutely have the ability to walk away from that, okay? But what you gotta do is you gotta get very clear on it. You gotta see it for what it is and then make the choice to walk away. It is literally a choice. Interesting. Just like you have a choice in the Ace of Swords, I'm sorry, the Eight, not the Ace, the Eight of Swords. You have a choice in the Eight of Swords. And that choice is either to stay in this mental confinement or to use those swords that are around her to cut her, cut that blindfold off so she can see clearly. Okay? Excellent. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Capricorn. Boop! Clear, honest, precise, damn near surgical cuts. Queen of Swords. She ain't playing. She ain't fucking around, y'all. It is what it, it is, what it is, bright and clear as day. The sun energy is very strong with the queen of swords, okay? Because she is the no hesitation, no holds barred. She knows exactly what needs to be cut out of her way and she ain't wasting no damn time. And definitely don't waste her time, right? Your challenge is to be precise. Your challenge is to not only see clearly, but to actually go through with making the cuts of the things that no longer serve you in your life at this point, okay? Queen of Swords is coupled with. There's death again. Some of you are actually afraid. Okay, first of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, before I sat down to start completing these monthly readings today, uh, my plan, I, I, I've, been, I've been just allowing myself to go with the flow, whatever energy feels right for the day, I do it that day. And today it was the last three. I'm not sure if I'm going to do Ophiuchus. Anyway, it was technically the last three. Aquarius, Capricorn, and Aries. But instead of hearing Aries, I was hearing Aquarius, Capricorn, and Scorpio. So somebody here may be dealing with a Scorpio, or maybe you have Scorpio energy in your chart, and maybe you should check out that reading. But here's Scorpio showing up for you officially. And it's showing up in the challenge. So some of you here might be dealing with a relationship with a Scorpio in which you are needing to defend yourself. You are needing to cut yourself free. You are needing to be, ooh, honey, you are needing to be just as much of a narcissistic asshole as this person is. <laughs> okay, obviously that's not like, that's not for everybody. <laughs> but, and, on, and honestly, you guys know, I'm not promoting narcissism and extreme selfishness. But that was a figure of speech. Or that was just, for lack of a better term here, or for like, y'all get it. Okay, fine. Queen of Swords and Death. Whether you're dealing with a Scorpio or not, the real challenge here is to take up the Sword of Truth and make the cuts that are necessary without asking any questions other than where do I cut? 
in order to facilitate this transformation for yourself. And you're transforming into a much more confident, vibrant, strong, and powerful version of yourself here. A brand new you is definitely what I want to call this, okay? So your challenge in the first half is to just... <laughs> just make the damn cuts already. Oh, shit. All right. <laughs> Closing message or potential outcome for you, Capricorn. In the first half of your reading, you've got the two of swords. Well, shit, there you go. There's that indecisiveness. Hmm. Two of swords is coupled with... Ah, the Page of Pentacles. Same problem that Aquarius had in the first half of their reading. Now, granted, Aquarius got the Page of Pentacles in their challenge. You're getting it in the closing message or potential outcome. And what I'm getting from this, Capricorn, is that you are indecisive. You're, some of you are maybe even refusing to make a decision because you know that the decision that you have to make or the cuts that you have to make are going to lead you to a brand new cycle. It's going to lead you to the next step and you're feeling like you're not ready for that yet. But the universe is saying, yes, you are. That's why you're being faced with this challenge to begin with. Okay. That's why you're being faced with needing to draw a clear line between who it was, who it is you once were versus who it is you're becoming now or who it is you are about to step into being. You wouldn't be faced with that if you were not ready for it. Don't shoot the messenger, babe. <laughs> Second half of your reading, Capricorn. First set of surrounding energies. Ooh, the Hierophant. <sighs> Okay. I'm I, I, I just heard some sort of institutionalized energy. And you know what's interesting, Capricorn? I do kind of see the Hierophant as a bit of a Saturnian energy. And Saturn is your ruling planet. And as of the moment of this recording, I think I believe through October of this year. Saturn is going to be retrograde, and actually Saturn is retrograde in your home sign of Capricorn. Of course, this is all in terms of sidereal astrology, maybe even Vedic astrology if you follow that. Uh, but I feel like you're breaking free from this in this moment, okay? The Hierophant is coupled with, yep, you sure are, the Ace of Swords. Point blank period. Okay. I mean, that's all. I, 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 some sort of institutionalized energy or something that is, um, we'll say, well-established. That's making it difficult to break free from. However, all you really need, Capricorn, to break free from this is the truth of what and who... Or should I say whom? Does that proper English, whom you are? That is all you need to break free from this, okay? You are not meant to be pigeonholed. You are not meant to be one size fits all and all that shit. Okay. Um, for some of you, I am picking up that this Hierophant energy uh, are social structures, belief systems. Maybe even for, in some cases, how people may perceive you. I also just heard how you may perceive yourself. That could be a heavily ingrained institutionalized energy within your life. Yikes. All right. But that's okay. We're breaking free from it. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn. In the second half of your reading, you do have the nine of wands. You just need to keep going. Okay. Point blank, point, point blank period. Ain't nothing else to say about it, baby. Just keep moving on. Knight of Wands is coupled with, and keep fighting strong, the Knight of Swords. You got to fight for this, and you got to keep going. You've come this far already, Capricorn. Do not give up. Do not give up now. It would be silly to give up now. To be honest with you, I do feel like the chances of that are very slim, yet somebody needed to hear that, hear that okay? Okay. Your challenge in the second half of your reading, Capricorn, you do have the Seven of Wands, keeping your boundaries, holding your ground, staying true to who you are or what it is you learned about yourself and the direction that you're moving in at this point. 
okay? Or at this moment. Seven of Wands is coupled with the Eight of Pentacles. Keep working, Cap. Keep working, Capricorn. Okay? Just keep going. Why did I just hear service with a smile? Ooh. Or maybe it was serve it with a smile. <laughs> yeah, you know those boundaries I've been working on? Here you go. <laughs> Okay. All right, Capricorn. I like that. I like that. Serve it with a smile, baby. All right. Closing message or potential outcome for you here, Capricorn. Oof. All right. Nine of Swords. Okay. But listen here. You're almost there. You're almost at the end. This is a progression. You're going from the Eight of Swords at the very beginning of your reading to the Nine of Swords at the very end of your reading. You're on your way there. Completion is inevitable is what I just heard. From the Nine, you move to the Ten. All right. So keep going. Don't be so afraid. And remember that a lot of what you may be feel, a lot of the fears that are going through your head right now, they're illusional and they're part of the past version of yourself that are that is no longer of service to you. OK, so actually, for some of you, you're coming up face to face with these fears right now. And you really just need to push through them because that is not a part of the aspect of who you are moving into the new version of yourself, nor a part, nor should it be a part of that. OK. This new version, this new you that you're moving into is competent AF. I ain't nothing going to stop him or her. Okay, yes, this is the king of wands, but we could be talking to a woman here. It ain't gender. Okay, it's energy. But this, this guy ain't got no time or patience for this. And this does not, and I don't say that to say, like, suck it up, get over it, and, like, just get on with your life. No, 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 no. No, I understand the reality of this right now. This is a necessary part of the process, but the, the message here is to just push through. Do not let the fears stop you because they are illusions, okay? <clears throat> Nine of Swords is coupled with. Shit, man, I love it when this shit happens. The King of Swords. You have the King and the Queen of Wands and the King and the Queen of Swords here. And the King of Swords is, say, is saying to you exactly what I just said. The fears and the illusions and the, all the what ifs and all the bullshit, it's all an illusion. None of it is real. See it for what it truly is, King of Swords, and push through. All right, Capricorn? Excellent. Let's get your closing oracle guidance here. And I'm being guided to pull out the Beyond Lemuria deck. So hold on just a second here. I gotta fish it out. I <laughs> got too many decks in here, you guys. All right. Okay. Here we go. Beyond Lemuria, yeah? All right. Let's give this five shuffles. Closing Oracle Guidance for you, Capricorn, for the month of June 2021. Whoops, that was one. See, but now I'm throwing cards everywhere. All right, let's do it here. This is two. Three. Four. Closing Oracle Guidance for my Capricorn, please, Spirit, for the month of June 2021. What closing message do you have for Capricorn for this month? There it is right there. Excellent. Oh, this is good. This is very, very good. You have card number 47, which boils down to an 11. Fancy that. Stepping through. Beautiful. Let's give this a read real quick. Write quick. <clears throat> Key phrases here for stepping through. Follow your heart. Dream big. Stepping through something that has been holding you back. The threshold. Starting new projects. Self-belief. 
It is all possible. The road less traveled and trust. Step in and step up all those dreams your, or projects you have been putting off. Now is the time to start, even if, it's, even if it is just one small element of the bigger picture. Although, quote, just do it has been coined by a commercial brand, it is one of my fundamental mantras. We will always have myriad of reasons why today isn't the day, but remember, opportunity dances with those already on the dance floor. And that's a quote from H. Jackson Brown Jr. When you start something, talk about it. Take consistent steps to actualize it, and you will see it take on a momentum of its own. The right people, places, and opportunities will magnetize, and it will start to come together. Don't be afraid to fail. The success we see around us has come from perseverance. Falling and getting back up again is part of the journey. Focus your energies and commit to seeing your vision become a reality. You are human, so set reasonable expectations and know that when you apply yourself, you can make amazing things happen. Building a dream can seem overwhelming, but if you break it down and make a plan, you will gracefully find a way through. You might be able to manage most aspects of a project, and it is great to have an incentive to learn more skills, but it doesn't mean you need to do it on your own. Whatever you are aiming to achieve, there are people out there with the tools, skills, and energy you might be missing. Look at the bigger picture and delegate. A mentor, people on a similar journey, or an accountability buddy can be wonderful supporters and allies. Following your dreams is fulfilling and empowering, but it is often a path less traveled. You may need to plot your own course or invent a way through. Also, consider what kind of lifestyle you would like and know this may change and evolve as you do. The divinatory meaning here is the time is now. No more excuses or tomorrows. Whatever you have been putting off, the universe is now pushing you to make it happen. You may feel a little outside your comfort zone, but that is where the magic happens. <clears throat> Take a leap. Combine your intuition with a plan of action. Break it down and trust the puzzle will come together piece by piece through the courageous act of making a start. Beautiful Capricorn. There you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. All the information is in the description box below, including the link to my Patreon channel, patreon.com patreon slash divine conversations. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. I love you all so much. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of July. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye. Ha, <laughs> ha,